Hello everybody, I'm Jaden, and thank you for joining me again for another Music Monday. Today I want to talk about a couple of weird things. First is about my mallets on the marimba. Actually, this is all kind of focused about my marimba mallets. And If you look at the music videos, every time I'm playing marimba, you'll notice where my hands are, there's a whole bunch of rapping. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this stuff. The first question is, why do you wrap your mallets? Why do you wrap your mallets? Why do you wrap your mallets? Why do they just... Uh... Well, the mallets are actually pretty slick. The handles don't have a lot of grip or anything to them. So if you're doing a lot of fast stuff, you want to be as relaxed as possible. So to do this, I've added some grip tape. It's nothing fancy. It's something you find at your local sports store. And I added the grip tape, wrap it around there a few times, and it creates a lot more friction for my hand. So it's really handy because now you can relax a lot more knowing that the mallet's not going to move around, it's not going to slide in and out, you won't launch it off into space or something like that. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> but there's a weird story about this because every few years you have to rewrap them. They get kind of gross. They get covered in gunk and dirt and whatever else. I'm thinking about rewrapping them and I get recommended this video of Adam Tan, uh, How to Rewrap Your Mallets on a Budget. And it's a really cool video. I'll put the link in the description. But basically, he talked about some good ways, you know, if you're like going through university or you're a high school student or something like that, and you don't want to spend tons and tons of money on all these grip tapes and stuff like that, you need, you need a way to do it. So what's also kind of interesting about this is the whole like, the machine is listening to you always. I didn't talk to anybody about this. It just kind of knew I wanted to do this. That's weird. Okay, so. Adam did a really good job, but what he fails to know, and actually I put a comment in this, cool idea, you know, and basically you go to your local sports store and just get some sports tape, nothing fancy. You just use that to tape your mallets up. So we're going to go through that and I'm going to tape up my whole marimba bag so you can see the whole process and all that. I've been using this for years. It's a great method. I started it in my undergrad. So let's get to it. Here we go. Okay, so let's start with the mallet I did earlier today. Um, nothing too fancy here. You can just check that out. Um, not too bad, you know, like I said, tape was $5. So yeah, let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do is peel back your tape. Who would have thought? I know, it's a really novel idea. Um, back into your mallet here, like the wand of a wizard. And you want to put your tape at about a 45 degree angle here. I don't know if you can see that too well. And you're just going to tape it down, overlapping it slightly. And you can just plug back a lot. And I usually do about maybe half a dozen or so passes. I try not to be too steep. It's nice to have a little bit of overlap, it gives you some grip. About oh, there is good. Um, here's where the scissors come out, really handy. And finish it off. Now you'll notice too, you see here, there's a little gap, um, and that's one of the things that the professionals, you know, like if you spend twenty dollars on stick wraps or whatever. Um, I don't know, that's like one of their bags, but uh, I just take another piece. This one's actually a little bit too long. You really only need maybe one inch is good. And cut it in half. Looks like a pair of pants, you know. Something like Jackson or whatever. And come on, man. There we go. Long messed up today. So one of these is for the top, one of these is for the bottom. You can just pick a spot, it doesn't really matter where. And start looping it around. I actually didn't do the best job on this guy. Let's put that down. But it helps to have a little back to it. And this one, if you look for the highest point, this is a good tip. Look for the highest point here. And then you can kind of start just over top of it, and 
just over top of it and kind of work your way around. I might be the best job in this one. We should actually start that way. And you can get that nice, kind of nice flat top that we want. This bottom I didn't do too, too good of a job. You can see the point. Maybe that's what you want for like an artistic thing. But uh, I'm not a super big fan of that. I try not to. And that's pretty much it. Then you're done. And you know, like I said, this whole roll of tape here, this thing's gonna get me through my whole mallet bag. Join us for this little excursion. Okay, so here it is. These are the rest of my mallets, uh, minus one of them that's in a friend's bag. <laughs> You'll notice this is a good one. Look at how bad that's fallen off. I haven't done some of these in like years, years. So first step, get off the tape. Wonder how long this is gonna take. As we're going, this is kind of a neat thing. So I've recorded this voiceover while I'm unwrapping all these mallets and I'm speeding up the tape footage, so nothing is really in sync. You'll be able to see my gross pile of old tape, but, you know, your old mallets, uh, if you taped them before, they're also gonna have gross, <laughs> you know, the funny thing. Actually, I guess if it's, tw say it's five bucks per mallet, that's 20 bucks a set. Six sets here, five and a half, I guess. Five and a half times 20, 110 bucks, five dollars. And I think it takes about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit longer, the sports tape. Hands are getting super sticky. Sometimes technology works out. That's a pile of mallets. And look at all that tape I have left. Awesome. All right, that was a bit of a silly episode. I wanna thank you all for watching, and I wanna thank Adam Tan for giving me inspiration for this video, that's very, very cool. I have uploaded a new music video last week, Castellane, inspired by a bike trip I did through France. We're gonna have a new episode of Jaden's Experimental Kitchen coming up soon. That'll feature the hot sauces. I mentioned that last time, don't forget. We've got a lot of crazy things we're gonna put them on. And it's, I think I have seven hot sauces in my fridge. It's ridiculous. If you like this, give a little thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.